Hey guys, if you're having trouble with your porta pack and your windows can see your HackRF, but for some reason you can't update it, this is the video for you. You're going to go to the GitHub HackRF page. And then you're going to click on scroll down and then click under what is the latest version, click releases. Then once you get to that page, scroll down, click the firmware.zip, download this file. Next, you're going to get your porta pack and plug it in to your computer. In the bottom right hand side of your screen, you're going to see HackRF of your Porta Pack. Click HackRF on your Porta Pack. It will say this mode enables HackRF functionality. Click Yes. Once you hear that it alerts that your device is plugged in, go to Device Manager. Scroll down, click your USB controllers to find your HackRF. Click your HackRF1, right click it, and go to Properties. Next, click the Driver tab. Then you're going to click Update Driver. Then you're going to click Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then you're going to browse your computer for the file you just downloaded. So whatever folder you put it in, it's usually in downloads, but in some people's cases, they have other folders. So whatever folder you put it in, after you unzip that file, so if you haven't unzipped it, go back to that file and unzip it. And then you're going to go back to this step and click on the driver folder under the Mayhem folder you just unzipped. And then just leave that highlighted and press OK. Then click Next, and it should update your driver to say HackRF1, whereas before it would have said Windows. Now you can unplug your HackRF. So unplug your HackRF. Then plug your HackRF back in. Close this dialog. Close this dialog. You can minimize that. Go back to your download folder. Now Go back to your Porta Pack and click on HackRF in the bottom right hand of your screen. Enable the HackRF functionality. Click Yes. Now, once you see your HackRF is connected with the blue screen, then click Flash Porta Pack. Then click Enter. It should detect your device now. Now your device should be updated with the firmware and you can disconnect your porta pack. That's it. Thanks guys.